Hello, my lovely Lego addicts. I hope you're all really well. Um, it's an exciting day today because it's another weekend and Ollie is here to help with the medieval build so we can actually progress it, which is much quicker than we thought we were going to be able to progress it. Um, he's actually already been here a few hours, but I still had to work and finish work. So he's been working on it downstairs. I'm really, really very excited to come downstairs and see what's been happening, but yeah, so this is, the weekend plan has basically become medieval, medievalified, and I'm super, super thrilled about it. Hopefully at least get the second tower done. We'd really like to integrate the Great Hall a little bit, and also we want to make the Great Hall modular so we can at least lift it off in order to kind of access underneath the, the mountain itself, just in case there's some problems. Um, I also now have a really fancy, pretentious uh, vlogging setup with like a microphone and a light, as you can probably see in the reflection of my glasses. So we'll put that to use, I guess. Um, yeah, let's let's get this project going. I'm so hyped. Alrighty, basically we have a few focuses. At the moment, what we're doing is this tower, we wanna make similar to the three in one castle with like the battlements, just because what we had previously was very much based on the castle and the forest brickling set. And it just didn't quite look the way we wanted it to. I think this gives more definition. So I'll show you when that's updated. And then we've also started with, oh, just broke something, obviously. And then we've also started with the next tower that is going to sit here. We've made this modular so that the whole tower is going to be able to be disconnected just because it's going to make it so much easier to work on it separately because at the moment that's kind of like a problem we're having. Um, then another update that we're making is we want to continue the rock work into the Great Hall so this is more integrated. And then also this window that we've got in the Great Hall, like right here, we're gonna kind of take the inspiration from like Moria because in Moria it's described when he first hit one of those great halls um, after like being lost in the tunnel stages that, that there is light coming through a shaft. So we're gonna continue to rock work upwards with the shaft down to this window. So theoretically it would still get light. It's just not very much. That is basically the th thought for now. Also gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with the waterfall that should sit there. Also what we're gonna do with the little hunting lodge outpost thing. So lots of progress happening. Alrighty, we have made some progress. Had a little like outposty thing here for the writer's room. We're playing around with sort of like roof updates. This looks really nice. I think the issue is that we don't have a corner piece for it also. I don't have the right color for it, but this looks the nicest. I think temporarily we're gonna just go for a straight um, piece, but this is definitely an option for a later day. So just documenting it now um, so I don't forget. Ollie has been working on this rock face just here. As you can see, um, it's much smoother now. It's actually integrating the great hall on this side. Um, it's using places where the trees can actually attach like properly. So it's much more finished than before. It's still a huge work in progress. And the way we're wanting to integrate this rock cave is gonna be interesting because we're gonna change it a little bit. But we do wanna keep it because we thought it was quite fun to have something like this in here, just to kind of have like a little secret because it's fun to have little secrets. And then here is the tower element I've been built, working on, which sits on top of that. So I decided that I wanted some nice interiors because so far the whole tower has been like guard and soldier focused. So here's my sort of like wizard alchemy room so far. So it's um, basically just a bookcase. The bookcase had to be basically weight bearing because it effectively works as a wall to support the rest of the tower. But I wanted it to be pretty. And then the next room up, this may change a little bit. This is just the first draft. It's probably going to be like the royal bedroom just because obviously the great hall is going to be pretty focused on royalty and like aristocratic guests so i felt like there should be some sort of room at least that you could see that reflects the fact that those guests have appropriate um housing so that's what this is going to be it, this is going to be a very mixed tower but i thought i wanted to kind of like try my hand at various different types of interiors so yeah it's been fun my cape to minifigure order has arrived. I'm so excited. So basically the thought was I want all my minifigures or most of them in the medieval area to have capes because reasons. And uh, the easiest way to do that was to just order them from capes to minifigures because actually ordering them from like Bricklink was a bit painful. So I, you know, I was like, let's just, let's just see what this is like. I got it recommended. Lots of people seem to rave about it. So it, you know, they look really good so far. Like the quality looks really nice. The only issue I'm having is with this white cape, which you can see the trace line of, but, um, oh well, I guess that's because it's white. Um, but these are for like all the knights that you can now get on the band wall. There is some for, um, there's a Boromir and an Elrond cape. 
There's some extra ones if I want to make some of the ring wraiths. And then these are all for some medieval ones. So very excited. Grilled cheese time. Oh yeah. It's time for the seven o'clock update. <laughs> Here's the mess, such mess, such mess. Um, and here is what we've got so far. So at the moment we have the head more integrated into the wall. We are going to still play around with how far this comes out. We want the waterfall to slightly further back. We're probably gonna be changing the roof of this to black because um, that's going to integrate better with the accents on the castle. This is just a test colour scheme. For the time being, we're not 100% sure yet if we're going to go with this, but for now, this is what we're running with. And then here is what I've been working on for the last bit. The top of that castle tower, where, um, yeah, it's kind of like trying to find a way to integrate a little building and then create a roof on the top of it as well, which is going to be a bit of a tricky one. So I don't know. I feel like there is a good chance I may not like it by the end of it, but we'll we'll just have to take that risk. Um, so yeah, that is currently where we're at. I may go back and add some details more on here, but for the time being, um, with the interiors that we've got, windows don't actually really work. So I may not. And then Ollie has been amazing and has worked on loads of the rock work that you can see here and um, sort of like all the exterior stuff. I've been mostly focused on in interiors. So this is what he's been working on recently. So we've centered the um, table with the chandelier. We've added the chandelier and let me just put it on wide angle. So yeah, we've got this sort of like thing happening. We've got the shaft from above here that will allow light through to this window here. Um, so that will mean that I can possibly put a little light there to kind of give an indication that light is still coming through. Ignore the huge cardboard mess. Um, this is the progress we made yesterday. I will show you better in a minute, but as you can see, we ran out of parts again. So what we've decided to do is create more mess, um, ideally over the whole kitchen, and sort all of the parts they hadn't sorted. So kind of hoping that we'd find some stuff in there that we haven't used. And then hopefully we can um, like use that to do a bit more progress, but also kind of make a really cohesive wanted list so we can actually finish it sort of next time because this is the second time we've run out of parts, but it's just so part intensive. So also I've decided that I kind of want some more storage units. So Oli said that he had this um, like plastic container one from like Homebase or B&Q and they're like 25 pounds. And considering I may be moving soon, I thought it's probably a good idea to kind of have a really easy to move like storage unit that has all the parts and so it doesn't like need to be sitting on the floor anymore so I'm probably picking that up later today because it would just be so helpful so that's kind of a plan for now. Ollie has very sadly gone home now but we have made so much progress actually I'm not entirely finished yet I have still got a few things that I want to do because after we finished sort of building and ran out of parts again we also went through all the bricks I didn't have sorted shh that was that was a lot so obviously when you don't have bricks sorted they kind of technically don't exist in my head because I don't know where they are so therefore they don't exist but actually after we sorted um, I kind of realized that I had a few bricks that I actually was needing for some of the things that I wanted to work on so hopefully I can at least sort of like finish the floor with the um, bunk beds for all the guards that is kind of like what I'm aiming for here if I can't oh well but I really hope that I can make that and that should mean that the tower looks a bit more finished um, you actually haven't seen a tower yet, which I know, but I kind of want to like keep it as a reveal thing. So I will start doing that as well. I need to just kind of finish sorting a little bit because there is basically Lego everywhere. I'll show you in a moment, but we just need to make sure that it's all sorted. It's all gone. And then I can kind of do the last finishing touches to the castle. Here are all the parts that you can see more over there. Some of the drawers are just on the floor here. This is a new unit I have literally just bought when I was bringing Ollie to the train station. I really was having quite a lot of issues with some parts that I just couldn't find a ha home for. So this now has a drawer full of like all the really big elements that I don't really have space for, but I don't really know where else to put them. 
Then this is my beautiful large plate drawer because I had these over three separate bags, one drawer, two um, of those containers. And honestly, it, I just, I didn't know I had this many plates to start with. And also this is so much easier. It takes up way less space altogether. So super happy with that. And also it's just, I don't know, very satisfying. And then I've also created this drawer here, which kind of will hold all of the round and angled plate-ish things, which, um, I mean, some of them are a bit random, but I really needed to find a place to put all of these elements. So I decided just to place them in here. I think that would be the most sensible. I think I may be able to fit one more of these, but I don't have one, so, um, oh well. But that is kind of what I've been working on today. Genuinely really happy with this unit. I don't know where to place it yet. I have an idea in my head, but I don't know if it fits, so that's gonna be the next challenge. Probably do the reveal tomorrow so you can actually see it in the daylight because it's already getting pretty dark. Even though it's only five, it's very rainy today, so yeah, let's just do that tomorrow, okay? loads of progress was made whilst we worked though it wasn't as massive as before where we kind of created a whole mountain we have obviously created that second tower which I think is really kind of making it look more like a castle what we do think we want to do is like because we're going to be going into there um, with the mountain maybe we do want to end up having a few like windows or something up here just to kind of indicate that there is more even in a mountain than just those two towers and this because what I really want to have happen is that basically if you look at this you kind of go okay that castle has been built organically within the mountain like it's not just those two towers it's like the whole thing there are secret passages and stuff also I just want to point out that this probably will change a little bit we ran out of various types of slopes so some of the surfaces are a little bit more um like less organic looking than we probably would like but i think not all of it will do this will probably stay very similar as it is just because this is a really sheer rock wall so you're going to be seeing quite like long steep differences then internally there has been some progress too then ollie did a really great job of making this fireplace look a bit nicer and we kind of added slightly more paneling here because we do really like the look of that paneling it just makes it feel more cozy we're going to be adding more benches i want to replace these with um, like the matte gold plates. I think they're just nice. So maybe I'll keep these for turkey or something. But yeah, this is currently what it looks like. This chandelier design, though I've changed some of the colours, is linked in below because I think it's by a guy called Gonza and it's so pretty. I really, really think this is really nice. I was initially going to make three, sort of like one on each of these things, but it's quite big. So I think it only really needs the one and it really creates like a really nice bit of focus. So this is what it looks like from the center. The throne isn't attached, which is why it's not centered, but I think it looks so very nice. And then we go on to the towers and the interiors of the towers. So this is mostly what I worked on. I'm very much more like a building interior person. That's really what I like to build. Um, so here is sort of like what I did. Added this um, like weapon rack here. This is really, really, really not finished. I definitely wanna do a lot more work on this. Um, and again, this is a similar, very, very unfinished detail, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to see what it would look like when we added some stairs in um, and this loom we made last time. And then here is what I showed you already with the um, really nice like bookcase with details, the writer's desk, you know, the study chamber. And then up here is the royal bed chamber. Yes, um, a bit of the bed has fallen off. I need to reattach that, but it's really hard to reach. So that will happen eventually. And then also up here, we will have um, the guards bunk bedroom. So this is basically where they'll house. I think we're gonna have a little bit of a gambling table here with some cards and then just bunk beds along this wall and maybe in the middle there, just to kind of indicate that that's where the guards go. And this is kind of why I added this door as well. So that's like the guard tower straight away. Obviously we're pretending that this is a cut through of the castle. So like in, a, in the world where this castle is real, it continues inwards. It's literally just a cut of the castle that you can see. And then here we have got the top level with the chamber. I think what we'll eventually do is change this door. I really want to possibly add a war chamber inside here with like a map where they're planning their next move or like I'm monitoring the land. And then if I, oh my God, turning this is really hard. It's super heavy. So this is basically back to where we started with the, with the tower 
and this is what it looks like from the top. I do think it's going to be really important to add some detail there to indicate that the castle continues, but I think this is going to be very much the next stage, and I think possibly the final stage if we can get hold of enough elements, but it's going to be a really big trying to figure out how we can make this look the most organic. What I haven't done yet is put this new extended tower next to the village that we obviously worked on last time. The village isn't really different now, but we're going to be you know, updating the final bits on the final go. Also, just wanted to say this bridge probably will be replaced, but we'll do that later. We are designing one at the moment. Um, so yeah, also this roof will become black, so it blends in better with like the color scheme we've gone for for the buildings. It will stay like this light bluish gray, but the roof will be black to fit in with the rest of the work that we've done. So let me see if I can move this into on top of the wardrobe and how it will sit next to what we've already done. What I have done to make this easier is, as you know, this whole tower is modular, so I can just take it off. This top is modular. It's really hard to do this when it's not quite finished, but yeah, so this lifts off quite easily. And then this middle bit also lifts off. So there is, there is two sections of that, just to kind of ease the transportation and kind of help with us moving it because it's genuinely really quite heavy, especially in this corner. So the weight distribution is a bit uneven um, and I have to lift it on top of the wardrobe. So let me do that now. Okay, update. It was so freaking heavy, oh my God. But it looks really good. I think it really adds even more perspective. Like it really looks so cool and tall next to this village. I had to actually remove the video board so I can actually lift this thing up because all the video figures were ending up on the floor. Also, I've come to the conclusion, and I thought, and I was already half aware of this, um, that it's slightly too tall. So the very point of this tower is going to hit the ceiling, but it's okay. I'm gonna just have to make sure that it's gonna be easily removable, so for storage. Um, eventually, I'm hoping to replace this wardrobe anyway. But oh my god, I'm really out of breath. It was really heavy. I think it was on the edge level of comfort for for carrying this up the stairs and then up quite high. But as I said, I think. The perspective is really, really worth it. Like it looks so freaking cool, man. <laughs> so that's worth it, oh my gosh. So yeah, there we have it. That's the latest update on this medieval project. <sighs> Maybe if I ever find a good place for it, it'd be really cool to add some wallpaper around it to kind of give it like a background mountain sky thing. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. It's so cool. <laughs> This, this finishing that is gonna really, really make it. And also we're gonna add more foam around the waterfall to kind of like make it spray out a bit. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to properly add the details in. There is so much I wanna do still. Ah, I love details. Alrighty, I hope you liked that update. It was certainly a very big adventure again. I'm so glad we're progressing this and I'm so, so glad I get to do this with Ollie because honestly, I think we make such a great team and it's really nice to just be able to bounce ideas backwards and forwards. I really don't think I would be able to get it this far and this epic without him, so thank you, Ollie, I really appreciate it. I hope you're continuing to really enjoy these updates. This is definitely one of the most ambitious projects I've done so far, and it just continues to excite me so much, so I hope you enjoy coming along for the journey. And yeah, let me know. If you have any suggestions, do let me know, especially for how I'm going to incorporate sort of a roof for the Great Hall. I have an idea in my head, um, which I think we're gonna probably try out next time. Ollie, I know I haven't talked to you about it yet, but it's it's in here, I will let you know. Um, but yeah, so I hope you've been enjoying this. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe for like the next update, it's definitely coming. We're just having to take some time again to collect parts and actually be able to finish this because it is so part intensive. Like genuinely, there is a lot of parts. Sadly, I cannot estimate how many. Thank you so very much for my lovely, lovely members who are supporting me in doing this. Honestly, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. And I will see you all very, very soon. You lovely Lego addicts. Goodbye. How do? I'm a happy, happy guy. I'm a happy, happy, happy guy. Ooh. Oh, I just found this. Maybe that can be incorporated. Look at that. Look how close it is to the ceiling. <gasps> Literally insane. Literally insane. What?